Yo, what is up everybody and welcome back to another Man 16 Draft Champions game. Deshaun Jackson returning the opening kickoff out there and that is his main weapon on offense. Trying to scout the opponent and see who he's got. But of course, he has his legend pick, Ladanian Tomlinson and his tight end, Jared Cook, who's breaking free in the open field. Cook, one of the fastest tight ends, almost takes it 80 yards for a crib call. But he has Christian Ponder at quarterback. Of course, it doesn't matter when you have LT out the backfield. And he can juke moves like that for a touchdown. But he does have a silver quarterback back there. So, scouting on his offense. Looks pretty good so far. Scored a touchdown. Now we'll try to stop it next time. In the meantime, our offense is out on the field. We have a silver running back back there, Ronnie Hillman. We have that gold Marcus Mariota. But, of course, he's got pretty good stats. And, of course, the great speed that makes Mariota so special. Third down and four. Rolling out with Mariota. Using that mobility. Trying to go downfield. But the pressure comes in. Corey Beerman brings us down on fourth and 13. We go for it. And we're running the same exact play. Why? Because I noticed A was wide open downfield. So we took the chance that he came out on the same defense and he would lead the same receiver open. And that's what happened. Ladarius Green using that speed at the tight end spot. One of the reasons why we drafted him. Gets downfield and flips the field. Now second down and seven. Mariota moving in the pocket. Finding Doriel Green Beckham. And Green Beckham gets to the five yard line. We only drafted one receiver, Mike Evans. But... Having Doriel Green Beckham as a silver player is great because he's one of the best silvers you can have as we score a touchdown throwing it to Ronnie Hillman out the backfield and tying the game up. So yeah, Doriel Green Beckham's like a 71 overall, but he's 6'5", he's got great height, he's going to be a good run blocker, so we can definitely make great use of him along with Tyler Eifert and Ladarius Green. As you see, he's got his man Christian Ponder rolling out there, running the ball. Ponder's got some sneaky good mobility, so he gets 9 yards in that one. He's got David Johnson who is a running back, but he's playing wide receiver since he has LT out the backfield. Second down, going deep, going for Johnson, but it's broken up by our store star cornerback, Marcus Peters. Of course, he's a rookie, but it's a pretty good rookie. He got great stats, and of course, he's playing well in real life, and there, Christian Ponder's inaccurate on third down. That brings up fourth down and one. He's going for it. He's actually passing the ball, and he's getting the first down in the flats to Deshaun Jackson, who's putting on moves before taking a kill shot in the middle of the field, but all I really needed was that first down and to not fumble the ball so Ladanian Tomlinson can get a touch and go 39 yards for a touchdown. It would have been really cool to get that fourth and one stop, but instead we gave up a touchdown. Two drives, two touchdowns for him. I see um, Keyshawn Martin getting a pretty good return. Of course, Keyshawn Martin now on the Patriots after starting the season, I believe, on the Texans. As you guys see, Ronnie Hillman out the backfield trying to make moves, getting the first down, rerouting the man open. Not too much pressure coming in so far. I mean, as far as how many people he's sending, but... Those people are coming through pretty often, so we need a little bit of help right there. He's only rushing four, putting seven in coverage. We need somebody to hold their block for a couple of seconds. In the meantime, we'll hold up. Hopefully, they can run block. See, th um, third down and two. Ronnie Hillman actually drops the ball here, bringing up fourth down. Now, think about running the ball. He only has four defensive linemen up there, so we have five offensive linemen. And you do the math. Five can block four pretty easily, and that gets us at least the two yards we need as we reroute Ronnie Hillman upfield after the two-minute warning. And Hillman, I said I like him as a silver running back. He's got 90 speed, decent catching off the backfield. He's making plays for us, and so is that silver green Beckham. Our two biggest players right now, are because we didn't even draft. You see Hillman easily taking in for a touchdown after we ran hurry up, tying the game up, but leaving him some time to score some points and take this lead going into halftime. We get ball coming out of half, so we can get a stop right here. Keep the game tighter, even potentially take the lead. That would be great as you guys see Lawrence Taylor out there in coverage. I didn't realize I had Lawrence Taylor playing coverage for a while. So after that play, I put Lawrence Taylor on the defensive line and try to rush the passer so, you know, we could use him for what he's good at. Second down and six, he's using his guys like Jared Cook and etc. for what they're good at. Catching the ball. Jared Cook, of course, a great speed threat at the tight end spot. Getting catches. First down, going deep. One-on-one. -on -one. Peters can't stop this Sean Jackson from getting the aggressive catch catch he calls a timeout so he doesn't kill up some clock and he gets the touchdown easily with lt from one yard out just punching up the middle out muscling his guys as you see Keyshawn martin getting some pretty good kick returns that time to the 26 but one but 10 seconds up we don't really have too much time to make something happen so hillman breaking a tackle trying to stay in bounds but with three seconds left these forced out of bounds so at the 26 what we do not want to do is turn the ball over so if i can get a spectacular touchdown here more power to me and that was kind of risky because we could have fumbled the ball with 
I wasn't trying to pick six right there. So we take the um, game into halftime. We're down seven, but our offense hasn't been stopped yet. Problem is our defense, not our offense. And it's a little bit pressure on us because we got to keep on scoring touchdowns to keep up with this guy. At least, you know, we're getting good reads on his defense. Second down and five. We keep on finding the open man like right here downfield. DGB back juking away from the defense and taking it in for a touchdown. Big hitting play right there, and that gives us a little bit more time to continue trying to figure out what he likes to do. He definitely likes getting Deshaun Jackson the ball like he did there on the kick return. First down all the time in the world for Ponder to ponder downfield and find the open man for a huge gain, taking it to midfield. Next play, Ponder again got all the time in the world to get some tea and crumpets. Lawrence Taylor can't get in there. Demarcus Lawrence can't get in there, but oh boy, Tim Jennings forced that fumble. We weren't able to get the recovery. Second down and one wide receiver screen does not move the chains actually loses half a yard third down and one he likes passing he comes out passing again but he is running with Christian Ponder and Ponder's sneaky mobility shows up once again just enough to move the chains you see all these short routes right now he's not exactly looking to go deep and he's trying to take angles out here with Ponder I'm okay if he does that if he gets that first down because it's a bend don't break defense as he lobs it up Anthony Barr the 6'7 linebacker was almost able to get that tremendous pick I believe he's 6'7 he might be 6'5 all in was man's mad tall and mad fast so i like using him third down 11 we're doing that right now but he runs a screen pass that's lt out the backfield but lt doesn't get the first down big decision here and he runs hurry up he's going for it fourth and seven getting it in the middle of the field we were off by just a beat with bar and he moves the chains heading into the fourth quarter first down and goal pitching him with ladanian whoop tomlinson if he didn't juke there might have been a touchdown now's the time for our defense to get its first stop of the game at the goal line stuffing lt Lawrence at the two yard line bringing him down third down and goal I'm thinking he's going to the pitch so we run commit he comes out passing but there's no pass rush so oh man look at the time for Ponder and he's just able to walk in there for a touchdown with open the receivers all over the left side of the field he's still able to walk it in just piss poor defense there by us and once again we got to keep on scoring touchdowns field goals do nothing because our defense is not helping out the offense Thankfully, the offense is still clinking. We continue to find the open man. We don't have a favorite target right now. Just whoever gets open. There it was green. We run the ball. Now we're using the play action off the running game. Finding Hillman out the backfield. And Ronnie Hillman is definitely carrying this team. Mariota, 11 for 14. Passing, looking to go deep here. But we go down in the backfield for a loss of six yards on the sack. Heading to the two-minute warning. Hillman on the screen pass. He's got Greenfield. Whoop! Passing by the defender and taking it all the way to the 20. 25 yard line like I said this is four down territory we need touchdowns and we need pass protection once again first down being taken down second down finding DGB in the middle of the field that's why I wanted to go to on the last play but we couldn't get it off in time now first down to goal once again he can't stop this play but we can't stop his pass rush he gets in immediately and it's a loss of six yards now second down and goal we need all 16 of these going for green and Ladarius Green ties the game up we go for the PAT but we leave him 47 seconds, only needing a field goal to win the Sean Jackson, cutting to the outside, and Keyshawn Martin, who's been good on kick returns all game long for us, gets the big play right there, first down, sending the blitz, lobbing it up, it's Jerry Cook in the middle of the field to the 45-yard line, he doesn't call a timeout, 25 seconds left to try to get into field goal range, Ponder rolling out, looking, finding LaDainian Thomas and juking away, and Lawrence Taylor with the big tackle, or else that might have been the game, now it's second down and four, but of course he needs about 15 more yards, for comfortable field goal range. Ponder can't find anyone running it and brought down by Timmons. Not even a first down. He calls a second time out with 10 seconds left. This is the game right here. We can get it in field goal range. Ponder still can't find anyone and brought down. Can't get the first down again. He uses his final timeout and now a Hail Mary to the side of the game with no time left. Ponder lobbing it and it's broken up intended for Jared Cook and that takes the game to overtime. He couldn't execute. He moved the ball past midfield but nowhere more and we get first crack in a game where no one has played defense the most important play of the game was the coin toss as Keyshawn Martin almost takes it all the way for a touchdown takes it near midfield what a great kick return to give us good field position but yeah no one has played a sniff at defense yet in this game so that coin toss might have been what decided this game as Hillman to the outside trying to get the first a yard shy of it gonna try to come out passing gonna try to catch him off guard looking for Eifert but it's almost intercepted by Clay Matthews and unfortunately and one this could be the game we're going for we're running it Hillman to the outside one man to beat and he's got him a little whoop and look at Hillman still on his feet 
finally brought down at the 33. He got the first down and then some. Now we're going for it all. DGB in the middle of the field, getting to the 11-yard line. It's not a goal-to-go -go situation yet, but it's pretty much. You see Hillman getting a gain of five yards. A touchdown wins this game without his offense touching the field. Second down and five. Ladarius Green can't get the catch in traffic. Mariota on the move right there. Now third down and goal. Once again, Mariota using his mobility, throwing it, lobbing it for the game, but it's incomplete. And now fourth and five decision here we're going for it we're not kicking the field goal this is the game right here for us looking for green and we got him for the touchdown mariota on the move play making and winning it gutsy play call what a reroute and what a catch by green and what a decision right there is draft champions so i'm okay with being a little bit risky in draft champions i might have kicked it in a more serious game but the decision worked out for us sometimes you just gotta go for the win you just gotta trust in your offense and that's what we did right there we playing well all game and we got the win good game to my opponent we definitely couldn't stop him but we got the ball first in overtime that is what decided the game so leave a like in this video if you guys enjoyed it subscribe for more and i will catch you guys next time